Where we begin tonight remembering the life of adventurer turned philanthropist Stan Brock. Yeah, the founder of Knoxville's remote area medical has died at the age of 82. He was born in England. Uh, the world got to know Stan Brock as a strapping young outdoorsman on the syndicated nature program mm -hmm. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. But before that, Brock had spent time in South America as a cowboy on one of the world's largest cattle ranches. And as Brock explained in a Ram promotional video, his idea for creating remote area medical came from an injury he suffered on a horse and the nearest doctor was a 26 day hike away. When I told astronaut Ed Mitchell that story, he said, gosh, he said I was on the moon and I was only three days from the nearest doctor. <laughs> you know, for, uh, for the people that lived in that neck of the woods and indeed many, many people who live right here in the United States, that don't have access to health care, they might as well be on the moon. Brock started RAM in the 1980s, flying doctors into far-flung communities in developing countries. Soon after, RAM started getting requests from inside the U.S. Now the group sets up shop in schools and exhibit halls, bringing in volunteer doctors, nurses, and dentists to serve people who can't afford what is often the most basic level of care. RAM, in fact, holding a free clinic event this past weekend right here in East Tennessee in Jefferson County. Now today, Brock is known around the world for that mission. He has been featured on CNN, CBS's 60 Minutes, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and so many more publications. You know, it's a measure of the power of his story and the number of lives his organization has touched. Well, new at six, WATE six on your side, reporter Madison Keevy talking tonight with the head of the group carrying on Brock's legacy. The warehouse at Rams headquarters really shows Stan Brock's legacy. The first clinic over 30 years ago, just a pickup truck and a dentist's chair. Today, state of the art trucks like this one have been able to help thousands. It's his legacy that friends and board members say will be the way they remember him. In the early days, in the 80s, it was like Stan and maybe two or three other doctors and myself, you know, borrowing someone's airplane and flying down to Mexico and, and putting on a clinic down there. Now it's grown to just a, a great organization. We have, of course, our home office right here, but we have volunteers around the world. We've had uh, over 120,000 volunteers over the years. That really is Stan's legacy, is, is the people, the people and the volunteers. Tonight at 11, I'll have more from my conversations with those that knew Stan best, why they say volunteering is the best way to honor his memory. Reporting in Blunt County, I'm Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. I will never forget going to cover Hurricane Katrina in 2005 when Stan Brock uh, brought his team of volunteers mm -hmm. there. They helped so many people I, that I have weekend alone. I have friends who have volunteered through RAM before, yeah. and, and they just say it was the best experience of their lives. Oh, my goodness. And Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett tonight calling Stan Brock, quote, a dear friend saying Brock once shared Christmas dinner with Burchett's family. The mayor saying in a statement, quote, watching him as a kid on TV, he was larger than life, and I was starstruck the first time I met him. But Stan was more than a celebrity. East Tennessee and communities across the globe are better off because of him. Now tonight we are waiting to learn details about a celebration of life service. Ram says it will take place in the coming weeks. In the meantime, Ram is asking that in lieu of flowers, donations be made to remote area medical in Stan Brock's memory. We've posted a link where you can make such a donation at our website and through our app. You'll find it under the As Seen on WATE section.